what's up everybody and welcome to another edition of reviews from my truck uh, today we will be reviewing this bad boy right here uh, sorry for the noise I know this truck is a diesel and it's not that loud in the cab but for some reason the I don't have a microphone and this camera picks up crazy audio so sorry in advance if it sounds loud anyways yeah man roll the clip Alright guys, so again, if you did not see my last video, um, I am filming these from my truck because of this whole quarantine thing. House is loud, can't get any uh, isolation within the home, so here we are. Okay, so going to try to do as best a job as I can to film like this. Uh, so this is the Benchmade Turret 9 80 considered a tactical knife or an EDC knife yes so this is the serrated version of this knife and later in this video I will show you why I got serrated um, I really primarily use EDC knives that are not kind of defensive knives uh, pretty much for the serrations because of uh, what I do for a living so I'll give you guys an example of that here in a minute but for right now let's uh, let's just go over the specs real quick alright guys so this knife has a blade length of 3.7 inches a blade thickness of 0.124 inches when it is open so the full length of the knife is 8.6 inches closed it is 4.9 inches and it weighs 5.81 ounces the blade itself is American-made CPM S30V steel. It has a G10 handle, and it obviously has the axis locking mechanism right there. Oh, come on. This camera really does not like to focus. I don't know what it's trying to focus on, but it doesn't like it. Anyway, everyone is familiar with uh, trying to do this with one hand. Oh, and it goes out of focus, of course, with the uh, axis locking. Uh, mechanism right there. Alright guys, so I really don't have to kind of go over bench made, which is, you know, the most popular. It's like trying to explain uh, what a Glock is to gun guys. You know, if you know, if you know what a bench made is, you know the quality, you know exactly what you're getting. I just want to go over some specs. This is a brand new knife for me. Um, just got it a few days ago. I didn't do an unboxing, but uh, this is what it looks like right out of the box. I've only been carrying it a few days, only used it a couple times. Um, you know, the uh, it, it works, you know, the release works perfect, locking mechanism is great. Uh, it has a really nice thick handle and a, and a deep, uh, let's see if I can get, get better, that deep pocket clip is good because um, before the last Benchmade I was carrying was a mini Griptilian and even though I like the knife, uh, you know, for some reason the damn thing would always come out of my pants while I was getting out of the truck or whatever. It was just always falling. I always found it on the floorboard or whatever. I don't know, but it was just always doing it. Uh, it didn't have a deep pocket clip. So that's part of the reason why I got it. Uh, you know, seems to be pretty tight. I don't know if you can see. That. There it goes. All right, so you can kind of see it does appear that it will have good retention. And so far the last few days it has. It hasn't moved. It's been in the same spot, hadn't fallen out of my pocket. So as of right now, it's aces. Now I'm gonna try to crudely demonstrate. Ooh, hold on, let me redo that. I am gonna try to crudely demonstrate um, cutting this strap, uh, rated at 3,300 pounds, I don't know more specs to that anyway it's an old strap that doesn't work so let me uh rig this up and i'll be right there all right this is as good as i'm gonna get this all right so here we go real slow all right well part of the reason why they didn't cut the first time which it did at least on the back side is uh mainly because this is not good enough tension i have this wrapped around my leg but anyway it's sharp take my word for it 
Uh, you can look at this strap, cut clean off. I know it's a terrible demonstration. I hate trying to do demonstrations because I, I never have a camera on me in a, in a ideal situation where I'm using a knife and really truly demonstrating what it's good for, but it's bench made, it's a good blade, and it is now part of my EDC. Um, pretty, pretty soon here I'm gonna actually uh, uh, update my uh, EDC and post a video of that. So be on the lookout, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe. Uh, this is a tremendous knife. It is in the uh, lower $200 price range, so it's not cheap by any means, but no benchmade really is. So um, anyways, guys, until next time.